Welcome to the Genealogy Radio Show, the radio show that's keeping you in the loop. And this week's show is all about the census, and especially the 1921 census, which is about to be released on the 6th of January, 2022. So at this point, we need to start talking about the departure of Ireland and England from each other, because in 1921, we have the War of Independence. In 1921, the UK bring out their census or start their census on the 19th of June, 2020, or 1921. And the big problem would have been the delay, it would always have been in April, but it was delayed because of a coal miner strike. So lots of things are starting to happen between the colonial world ending for Ireland and a new state emerging with the battle and wars of independence and so on. The 1921 census will be of great interest to people living in Ireland and for anyone tracing their ancestry who have ancestors who've emigrated to England at this point. So it's well worth us looking at what the 1921 census may bring us. And it was completed digitized with Find My Past. So it will be available through a subscription based aspect at this point. The 1921 census was taken on the 19th of June, 1921, at a time when the population for England and Wales stood at over 37 million. The 1921 census gives a greater detail than any other previous census. In addition to the questions asked in the 1911 census, the 1921 census includes more information about the profession and branch within it. It asked what materials they worked in, places of work and their employer's name. For those over the age of 15, information about marital status, including if divorce was given. For those under 15, the census recorded whether both parents were alive or if either or both parents had died. This is extremely significant because of the Spanish flu. So it'll, it'll, it's going to give us a, a lot of information as to mortality. It also had detailed questions on education, including whether you were in full time or part time education. So it's going to be a real teller as to whether people start departing out of domestic service and whether they start to stay in education and what's happening there. For the first time, individuals in a household could also make separate confidential returns. The censuses from 1921 onwards were taken under the Census Act 1920. The 1921 census and later censuses are held in the custody of the UK Statistics Authority. So it's on release online in January 2022, and there are 1921 census substitutes. So there is the genealogist.co.uk, which has transcribed directories from this period to create a searchable database, which allows family historians to search for first names, surnames, professions, streets, towns, counties of the, the habitation of these, looking for businesses names, looking for addresses and so on. So it's a real you know, indicator of what's happening in the new world there. And it's just interesting to start to see exactly what it's covering. So it's, Find My Past, quote, say it's the ultimate guide to getting ready for one of the momentous family history releases ever. And it's a great way to play detective. And I believe it is as well. It's a detailed snapshot of 38 million lives, and it reveals where your relatives were, what they were doing, who they were with one summer night in 1921. So getting ready for the 1921 census is quite a lot on the Find My Past uh, census website and it really shows the changes of, of what's happening. 
it's also, they were chosen by the National Archives to bring the, the census. And it said why it was important is really important here because the 1931 census was destroyed in a fire. So there is no 1931 census. The 1941 census is canceled due to the Second World War. And this is in England. So we'll go back to Ireland in a minute when we start talking about our censuses because there's different dates. That leaves the 1921 census to set the scene for a key point in history. It is also the most, quote, revealing record set up to that time. It was the first census to recognize divorce and to capture people's employment details. And for the first time, you'll see all the family secrets and surprises that this interwar census can bring. So really, it's the only interwar census in the UK. And that's highly telling as well. And people are used to forms more, things are happening, there's more literacy, so it's going to be a big difference as to what was there. And we'll be covering many shows on it when we explore it in our new year of 2022, and we'll certainly be bringing you how to use it and so on. Now, our own census in Ireland, in the National Archives, is very different. The history of the Irish census records in 1921, we do not have a census in 1921 because we're at war. We have the War of Independence and so on. So our next census is 1926. And that's going to there for provide a capture in 1926. Then every decade, 1936. So we have a census in 1936 where England doesn't. Their 1931 census was destroyed by fire. We have a census in 1946. And then five years after, incrementally, 1951, 1956, 1961, 1966, 1971. And then the one in 1976 was cancelled due to economic measure then every seven years, and, and then we're looking, you know, at a different return. So the staff of the National Archives are not permitted to examine them for any particular reason from the ones 1926 to 1946. And it's important to re realize that these records are, you know, very sacred and very secret, and that's very telling at this time. So the history of census records and the history of 1921, we, we need to look forward to 19, the, the release of this, and we'll definitely be doing a show of the census on its release and having a good look at it. Interestingly, some of the timelines of what's happening in 1921 are very interesting. Mary Stokes and Humphrey Rowe opened the first birth control clinic in the world called the Mother's Clinic at 61 Marlborough Road, Holloway, London. You have an R-38 airship, the world's largest airship, made its maiden voyage at Cardington. The coal strike ended on the 28th of June. On the 6th of December in 1921, the British and Irish negotiators signed the Anglo-Irish Treaty. The 9th of September, you have Charlie Chaplin visiting London, met by thousands of fans. And, you know, I'm sure there's quite a lot going on in 1921 that make it a very interesting year. But the history of 1921 is quite interesting in that we're very much looking at what's happening in the world as such. It's a very different time. It's just starting post-war. It's always three years finishing the, the World War at the time. And it's, a, it's the old world and the new, new world, if you like. These wars, total war, was the first time we ever had total war where civilians were mobilized to make a world war. And we have, of course, the famous pandemic. So very much what we're looking at in census times is a time where we're going to be looking at many different occupations rather than servant or domestic service and industry starting to take hold. When you hear that the coal miner strike delayed the census 
that's very telling as well. So in Ireland, we have the Irish War of Independence, the Irish Republican Army, the old IRA occupied the Custom House in Dublin. And, you know, we're looking at quite a lot of unrest as such. And we really need to look at what we're getting out of the census. In 1911 and 1901, we don't make half enough of our own census. It's when you realize there isn't these records in the 20th century that you start to realize, oh, it's not just the older the records go that you haven't got the sources. It can be very much that you never had, the, like in England, you don't have one for 1931, you don't have one for 1941. So what records are going to be there for the future, for the future family historians? And how lucky are we to be able to access a 1921 capture of what's happening. So very much we, we're reliant on how we're placing people and where we're positioning people and how much travel has changed and what's going on in the world for this time. So you can prepare for the 1921 census. And if you start thinking about what age your ancestors would be, unlike the age heaping between 1901 and 1911 in the Irish census, what other things would, would be there of interest where we're looking at occupations for women that might not have been available before. So interesting facts about the 19 census, 1921 census would be something to, to look at as well. And just the fact that census provide that capture of featuring your ancestors who are located in a place at a time. So interesting facts about the, the census of 1921 yields quite a lot of things. The fact that there are directories and bits and pieces that can start giving you uh, information and the census of 2021 and all sorts of, of things of, of what has happened. So the census has been carried out every decade since 1801 with the exception of 1941 during World War II. So there isn't a census for 1941 and the census for 1931 was destroyed by fire. So the 1921 census, the one after World War I, the question was asked on orphanhood. And it's the only time this question has ever been used in the English and Wales census. So that's something that we, we need, to, where people would have lost their parents. And some interesting facts they have here from the Birmingham Library news post and blog. Harry Houdini was visiting a friend on the night of the 1911 census and, and listed his occupation as mystery arc. So we'll have to look at what a mystery arc is. The first census in 1801 was carried out to partly ascertain the number of men able to fight in the Napoleonic Wars. The census shows how people's occupations, quote, have changed over the years. If the 1841 census is anything to go by, some of the professions with the lowest counts that year included bee dealer, one man, peg maker, 19 males, and artificial eye maker. In Birmingham, the 2011 census showed that there were 10,080 nurses, while at the other, there were 98 people involved in footwear and leather working trade. So you can see that that would have been completely at odds in 1911. It's important then for us to look at the changes that are happening in our modern day times as such. They have some interesting facts about the 1951 census saying in England it was the first census to ask about outside toilets as Britain began to clear slums and rebuild housing after World War II. The question was asked until 1991, when 99, almost 100,000 people in England and Wales still had no access to an inside WC. So no access to an inside toilet. Our lives have changed so much in the last 30 years. And anonymized results and, and things are locked away for 100 years and so on. And it's just really interesting to see 
what's happening and what we need to do to take part and how people collect the information and the bits and pieces. So censuses are still happening. In, the, in Ireland and in England, we're going to be very influenced by England in the 1911 census, but our comparative analysis of the 1921 and 1926 census are very much there. So we'll be able to do a lot of seeing how things are changing between England and Ireland. And there should be many studies done on that to be able to really work out what differences are happening between Ireland and England. Now, Northern Ireland, what's happening there? It's, it's separate. Does, you know, how records survive at that point and what's going on is going to be very interesting as well. So I do believe the 1921 census going to be launched on the 6th of January, 2022, is something that's worthy of a great deal of study of what we want to know. How many Irish are in England? What nationality are they? Where are they congregated? Are they going there more? Are they going there less? What's happening? What's the occupations? The changes between domestic and the upstairs, downstairs world of what's happening. What's happening post-war and what's happening post pandemic with the Spanish flu. We've got questions that were never asked before or never asked since. And we're going to look at those questions for the 1921 census and do an entire show on that. We're looking at marital status as differing, the first time divorce is ever mentioned. What's the story with the Irish census of 1926? It's um, something that we've asked for a long time. Can we get it released a bit early? It certainly would make a huge difference to our revenue and how we're attracting people to come to Ireland and so on. So that's it for today, folks. We looked at the 1921 census and we looked at the different categories and how it's going to be available through Find My Past who digitized it with their partners of the National Archives in the UK. And it raises many fascinating questions. The show is podcast out. Uh, on a Sunday, and we, we are looking forward to a new team starting with us in January. If you have any areas of research that you would like covered, we'd be delighted to set up an expression of interest on that, and we'll be detailing more about that in the next few weeks. So thanks for listening.